This video presented by the Broadway Computer. Broadway Computer Signal Recovery Laboratory. Broadway Computer We repair MacBook, iMac, Laptop, PC. Today's video where we will show you how to repair the MacBook logical by the no backline issues. Okay, uh, this step we try to check your MacBook can power up uh, correctly without any other power up issue. First thing we turn on the power supply, we using the 6.5 volt and also we check your MacBook and uh, you should check your MacBook AC adapter that the ply got a green light or the orange light and also your MacBook and the MacTosh can power up and uh, you got the stop up sound also you got your sleep indicator light stay on for once or two seconds after power on also uh, if you can you got back line you will see the macbook logo shown on the screen in the center of the screen but if you don't have a back line where we will tell you how to check your macbook is powered correctly in the next step Okay, the next step, we try to check your MacBook is no backlight issue or is no display issues. So, we have to put a light at the top, at the back of the top panel. Then, you turn on the, your MacBook, you can see a big app logo immediately light by the light in the center of the, the display. And also, you can hear the stop sound in the CD room. After that, maybe waiting for 10 seconds, you will see a black Mac app logo showing on the center of the screen. So that means your screen is displayed and uh, stop up correctly, but it's just no backlight. So this we can go to the next step to fix the backlight issue. Okay, when you open the back casing, you try to look your logic board, see if there's any water damage or some of the physical damage on your water uh, logic board. And so for this case, we see the backlight and the LCD connector, we see a little bit short circuit in here, here, and here. So we see that something like it's over current or maybe the short circuit, maybe over voltage to cause the, the connector is burned. The some pin is burned. So um, for this case, we need to clean our the, the uh, LCD jack before we do in the next step. So we are using the cleaner is a medical uh, cleaner to clean the motherboard and using the PC using for clean the PCB ball. The so clean the jack power jack the LCD, the LCD jack. So using the brush and the hot saw, the uh, using the brush to clean it. Make sure you can see it's clear and uh, clean. And one more thing, uh, just uh, to inform you, don't use any the and um, the water to no more water to clean your PCB because no more water content some material inside will cause the rust and maybe to damage your motherboard. So we using the better way is using the uh, alcohol, the something like um, the PCB cleaner to clean the PCB. Next step, we're using microscope to see what happened on our LCD jack. For here, we can see there's two LCD jack, so we've got some pin has burned and uh, it's disconnected with uh, the soldering pad. This caused maybe by the high current or over current or maybe by the short circuit. And uh, sometimes, uh, it's also caused by the water damage, so that's very the common issue for the water damage logic bar. In here, see the two pin 
should be connected with, with the big the soldering pad. You, so for here, we see just the bone. And also we need to make sure this tool is no overwatch uh, Here, this is the main chips, the uh, backlight supply chips, and here is the track. We got the fuse in here. This the supply the backlight supply fuse, and also here we got another track to here. This is 3.3 watt to LCD um, display power supply chips in here. So we try to make sure your all the pin. You should get a trip, uh, all this pin get 2.3 watt. And here and here here no any short circuit and no any going to ground. Okay, the next step we try to take off the, our the the broken RCD jig. We're using the air gun and uh, the uh, the soldering iron, the, actually the soldering station, and the uh, clean rig to clean our the piece the PCB. Okay. Um. Also, we need to put to protect our the working surface. We're using another board with a uh, um aluminium. Put the aluminium surface on it. Then put some sorry mask on our LCD jet. The hot air gun we set at uh, four hundred and fifty to make sure the high the high flow and the maximum flow to make sure that you can take out this LCD jet in as soon as possible in case to damage us the, the plastic part on the back of the large board. And also you try to move your hot gun, don't put it in the one place, just moving top to the belt and then let it the, the heat will be there. Okay, let me take off the um after maybe this will cost maybe two or twenty um uh, twenty second maybe thirty second or two um, one minutes based on your the power of your air gun. Okay, let me uh when we take off the when we take off the um LCD jet, we try to using put some uh, sodium mask on it. Now using the clean wick to clean the pad, the soldering clean the soldering pad, and before that we put on uh, some solder soldering on it. Drag from one side to another side is smooth and don't drag too much force otherwise you will broken your the pin on the soldering pin on the watch board. When you clean it, just drag slowly slowly and carefully. Like if you feel some stress the and resist your dragging, just um put uh, maybe adjust your uh, soldering station, the high temperature, and put some more mass on it. This will be easy for you to do the clean process.
So after that, just reusing the thinner to clean the PCB to make sure it's cleaning. And uh, you can see that after cleaning the petroleum pad, it will become very flat and very shiny, easy for next process to sort back our the power the LCD jack. So this is the new LCD jack we put on. Uh, when you put on put the back LCD jack to make sure each pin to match correctly. You can uh, make and also to make sure it's uh it's contact real on the soldering pad. It's pin contact real on the soldering pad. So this is the after processing, after soldering processing, we're using the soldering station using the um just drag drag each pin and uh, to connect to your soldering pad. After soldering, you should make sure the two pins they can uh cannot connect together and also it's actually to make sure each pin can take real on your soldering pad. And we'll leave this two pin with it. We leave this two pin we'll try to using the fly wire to connect it with uh, the main southern pair. The fly wire is just using the small one, the soft one is good for the fly wire. It's working is a really precise crisis, and so we suggest you here with the microscope. To and do this all the work and job under the microscope. Let's make sure you're correctly. Also, we suggest using the high power, the power station, the solar, uh, sorry, the solar, uh, soldering station to make sure the quick connector and the, the good connection and your soldering will be good than just using the normal soldering iron. And uh, we leave the two pin near the um, the main post of our pin. So this two pin actually we should connect it to, to the ground, but for the safety reason, we just leave it leave the because we are worried about the you know, if you connect to the ground, it will, you need another fly wire. It's too close in the main post supply. It may be caused the, if not soldering properly, it may be caused the short circuit. So it's, we just leave it. Okay, um, this is the overview of our new power. After we change the uh, LCD jack, we can see that each pin connect to the soldering pad uh, in properly, and also we can see that there's no short circuit, no uh, double connector. So this okay, that's good for the, our job. Let's let me testing our logic board after repair to change the uh, LCD jack. So we tried using just our testing uh, LCD and connect the power jet and also connect the cable and uh, everything else the make don't scott the RAM. Then we try to power on then we can see this is working fine and if the system can go into the system then we let the uh, I like to the plot bubble into the system. We try to play some video to testing. Is everything wrong with the video playing and something wrong with the 
at the policy screen. So after testing, we can see this one is working properly. So we can give the customer, let's do finish. what today's video uh, remember to like us in the Facebook and the YouTube thank you for watching signal recovery laboratory by photo recovery